We live in a time of transformation. New wars plague the earth, creating a highly unstable geopolitical order. Social and economic inequalities grow exponentially, further straining deep-set social tensions. These times of adversity are marked by urgent warnings from the natural world. The continued use of fossil fuels is responsible for the unprecedented rise of global temperatures. Climate change has a significant impact on migration patterns. Millions of people are forced to leave their counties. Scientists have verified a correlation between pandemics and the urbanization of rural spaces. Plastic invades our planet, and it's even found in human placenta. The Earth has never been so populated. Its resources have never been so overexploited. The oceans are warming up. Many islands are in danger. The ice is melting away. Historic forests are mutilated. Yet. 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 But. There is a profound potential for change. Amidst the darkness, we hear a call for help. New voices are now rising, advocating for justice and true sustainability. In collaboration with the Italian Ministry of the Environment and Energy Security, the UNDP recognizes those who choose the path of change. The young innovators. Those who see a way out of the storm. Those who fight every day for a better tomorrow. 150 youth between the ages of 18 and 29 coming from over 60 countries worldwide have arrived to Rome Roma historically multicultural city a place where past, present and future intertwine in the name of beauty All of us have arrived here today for the event Youth for Climate Sparking Solutions Yeah, we have all been given opportunity to present concrete solutions. The opportunity to fight climate change. Here we have met. Here we've spoken. Here we've listened. United we stand to heal what has been broken. We must learn to live in harmony with our planet. Together, we can create positive change. We can create it now. Let's start.
I started my career in an oil and gas company and faced a moral dilemma about my impact on the climate change crisis. Because of this, I left the oil and gas industry and decided to pursue a career in energy policy where I can make a difference in my home country, Trinidad and Tobago. So my journey with climate action and being a climate activist was not by choice. Um, it was something that I was pushed into. And often at times you will hear the same story from Pacific Islanders. We don't choose to be activists. Um, we end up being in this space because of the current situation of our environment. I was born during the 11 years civil war in Sierra Leone. That was also the period when Sierra Leoneans started feeling what the impact of climate change felt like. Growing up in that period with a single mother made me realize there is so much I had to offer. I took it upon myself to see how I can contribute towards changing those issues. What inspired me was people's resilience and courage to try to build life back after a disaster hit them. Are the floods that happened in Zimbabwe in Chimanimani, and my sister was a victim to those floods. I then knew that I had to push and demand for decision makers to make a change within you know, our societies, our communities, and our countries. So this is why I then was eager to pursue issues to do with climate-related issues at a national level, regional, and global level. I started to care about climate change because I was really angry and frustrated. After studying about climate change at the University of Washington, I came back to Mongolia and I found out that no one was really talking about this issue. And it's something that I care about, it's my passion. But when I came back to my country, it wasn't being discussed. There was, it seemed like there was nothing that's being done about it. And I felt really alone. When you work on the climate crisis, you feel isolated as a young person working in your country. But here you realize that this is hundreds and thousands of us, individuals around the world working to accelerate our systems and climate action together. And you finally visualize this image here at Youth for Climate. And we see these pitches, we see these solutions, and it gives me so much hope. Being part of Youth for Climate is changing my life. I think this is a great chance for Italy to move forward as a government and as a country that supports initiatives globally. People will look to Italy and they will see that they have such a great influence uh, on projects, on youth initiatives that are going on around the world, that uh, these initiatives are happening and they're coming to life with the help of uh, the UNDP and the Italian government and that they, ha they are supported by such uh, entities and that there's always uh, hope uh, for the better. Un motivo di vanto, di piacere, non di sforzo da parte dell'Italia perché l'aver messo assieme tante sensibilità, averli portati a proporre così tanti progetti, a, a unire migliaia di ragazzi perché eh, voglio ricordare mh, quelli che sono stati a Youth for Climate erano un gruppo di rappresentanza dei, dei progetti e di tutti coloro invece che sono stati coinvolti, che sono migliaia. Beh, questo non è uno sforzo, ma è, è un motivo di vanto. The Youth for Climate Initiative is crucial because it connects two important dimensions of including young people into the fight against climate change. The first one is, of course, the fact that their voices need to be heard, but it's also essential that their ideas are realized, are supporting their implementation. I think this is what's special about Youth for Climate, the reason why young people across the world are so excited to be part of this family. When we started, it was an idea, and we didn't know where this idea would have brought us. So it's a long way after three years um, be, being here again with the youngs, uh, participating in the process with enthusiasm and being able to go from discussions to solution it's uh, it's the main uh, it's the main goal uh, for us all these little challenges of needing support with the visa having questions about how to pitch um, it's really a pleasure to be able to support them with those um, seemingly small things This is my message to all my peers, the youth. Understand the power that we have. 
understand the opportunities that can come out of the friendships that you enjoy with those around you who are fighting for the same cause. We have tremendous ability to make a difference, but we need to do it together and we need to do it quickly. Indigenous people, young people should be leaders of climate actions and not victims of climate policies. When we speak of climate action, we speak about giving safety and peace before all to our children, to our parents, to the families with so much value. Climate justice is not just charity. Climate justice is an investment. Well, my message to leaders is to move beyond just our words and of course our commitments and move beyond the concept of just transition. At what point do we go from transition to action? And at what point do we begin implementation? And I think that time is now. And I fully expect leaders to be held accountable, but also to work closely with young people. Because of course you are setting the groundwork for the future that we're going to inherit. And we want to work together to build the world that we want and we truly deserve. Your inspirational efforts are a demonstration that you don't have to be a politician, a millionaire or billionaire, or a celebrity to lead change. In so many ways, you are our main hope as torchbearers for the Sustainable Development Goals. Not least because you are a vast resource of knowledge and expertise, and let me emphasize, by saying you are our hope, it is not to step back from our responsibility to act. Your voice matters, and it can inspire your parents, your siblings, your friends. It is making a difference, including with us. That is why Italy and UNDP have joined forces to support you. The future is possible. The future is possible. Mustaqbal mumkin. The future is possible. My butnya mojlewa. The future is possible. El futuro es posible. The future is possible. Gelecek mumkin. Ojo wadu sheshe.